Hello, welcome to the Praying Mantra discussion. My name is Mrs. Morn and I'm here with Mrs. Wyatt. And we are going to start with the title, which is Praying Mantra. The artist is Wangiki Mantu. Mutu. Mutu. Yeah. And the historical period is contemporary. Materials and techniques in this piece. You have collage material media on Myler. Uh, intended purpose, why it was made. Uh, praying mantra centers on female subjectivity, exoticism, and the notion of hybridity, both in concept and in imagery. Your audience on this one is going to be the global audience and no patron. Alrighty, so the first question is asking, what is the blanket that the figure is resting upon? So this is called a kuba cloth. And I wonder if I can find that for you. It's just spelled uh, how it sounds, uh, K-U-B-A, a kuba cloth. And this is a traditional fabric created by the kuba people. Two is asking, what is a mantra in the context of this, in, in, of this image? So despite this being kind of a reference to a real praying mantis, uh, Mutu's praying mantra is also vulnerable to our gaze, suggesting that the figure may be a victim that is preyed upon by mantras. It's important to note that mantras, these are um, repeated statements or slogans. So, by putting this in the context of the image, the figure is made vulnerable by Western stereotypes. So this is um, this is basically stating that the the statements or slogans we hear about women are uh, essentially being um, the women in society are being preyed upon by these statements that are um, basically shared over and over again. Number three is how is the praying mantra meant to be interpreted by a Western viewer? So the title is meant to remind Westerners of the praying mantis, which is a bug. It's an insect that devours the head of its mate. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Given that elements of the collage are assembled from social cultural documents found in popular popular literature from the West, the figure may be preying on the viewer's own fears and desires. And uh, that's it. You have anything else to add, Mrs. White? No, it's definitely a deep piece. Yes, it is. So thank you for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed.